This week, I learned about something called carcinization, which I did not know about. Have you ever heard about it? I've heard of Carson Kressley. Okay. <laughs> Someone's a drag race fan. Um, slash queer eye. Is that what he's from? So basically, it turns out that a crab-like physical form is perhaps one of the more optimal life forms because crustaceans have evidently evolved into crab-like forms five times independently. Oh, so, wow. That's cool. If you've cool. ever heard of convergent evolution, this is when a trait that is shared by different species has evolved separately. So they have similar species, uh, similar features, but it doesn't mean that they have a common ancestor that has that uh, feature. That's so, so cool. Eyes are an example of this. So lots of different species, or uh, even from like cephalopods to vertebrates from, to nadarians have sort of sensors, but they develop separately. They're not all sharing a common ancestor. Things like echolocation and wats and, ba <laughs> wats <laughs> and whales. What? What? Whales what? and bats <laughs> have evolved separately and flight in birds, insects, uh, pterosaurs and bats. Th those are examples of convergent evolution. Huh. So wow. carcinization is this tendency for crustaceans to look like crabs and that there are lots of creatures that you might see that look like crabs that are actually not crabs because over time they're they have evolved towards this form because it's i guess one of the most like i mean i get you, you get to move around you get to have your little piercers yeah, you've got, like, like weapons it seems you're protected like lots of shell it's like i need a shell so even i'm going to show you this picture and hopefully it'll come up on the screen the none of these <gasps> are crabs okay wait all i have to say okay that is wild that none of those are crabs. What? Well, they are, so they're called porcelain crabs, these ones in particular. Um, and they resemble crabs, but they're more closely related to a, a type of lobster. Oh, wow. And so even king crabs, you know, the ones with huge legs, yeah. they obviously look mostly like crabs, but they have come from a lineage of hermit crabs. So they wouldn't have even had, they would have found their own shells previously in their lineage. They share a common ancestor with hermit crabs, but they've developed and evolved over time to have a, the shape of a animal that looks more like a crab. Wow. Also, that is a beautiful photo and it should be painted. And yeah, Porcelain uh, crab. I'm so freaking bored. Maybe I'll paint it. Um, in um, a way, they call them false crabs because uh, to the naked eye and to somebody like us. Rude. <laughs> yeah. Why do crabs get to be the number one that we all like compare other crab-like creatures to a crab? Uh, because I guess the crabs in their lineage just are like genuinely what we call crabs and then other creatures. I'm like, are, what about crabs? I forgot to tell you, um, I have crabs. crabs. <laughs> I'm kidding. I wonder if they're also like, yep, we have the optimal form. <laughs> yeah, um, honestly. Yeah, I just thought that was really fascinating, really cool. And who knew that crabs were going to take over the world?